This is not a lab comparison, but this is my experience moving from the Direct 3D 11, aka DirectX 11, to Vulcan on Star Citizen. Thank you to my long-term subscribers for sticking around. Now, Direct 3D 11 is what we've used, aka DirectX 11. I still cannot get a, a direct answer if they are exactly the same or if they're just the same family. So I'm going to use what Star Citizen is using in its menus. So what the developers have written there, I'm choosing to use. So if you're looking in the menus, you will find Direct 3D 11 and the 3.23 EPTU. And you in the, in the wave one menus, you can go and you can change them to Vulcan and it will require a restart of the entire game, but you can do it. Now I chose to make two different patterns here. You can see what the game looks like in direct 3d 11. And then here it is in Vulcan, the near, or I should say similar pattern. I tried to find a place that had a lot of strong lighting and shadows and interesting things that are kind of at least a little bit of in the distance and then with the cityscape and then also close uh trying to give it every which way you know uh that i could that i could think of in a controlled environment now my anecdotal take is that vulcan seems to be smoother i have heard other people say that so i may be biased here Hearing other folks agree with me on this uh, is interesting. I think Vulcan is a major step forward no matter what. Uh, we've heard in the past from great folks like Sylvan from CIG's uh, engine team talking about how different it's going to be in Vulcan and why it's a major step forward for full integration into Vulcan. Also remember that he, amongst others, noted that Vulcan would be a major step towards what we need to do for future things such as vr integration could not come until even be considered until vulcan was fully integrated into the game it's a major milestone for many reasons now on its face even if we don't count any future technology anything else uh vulcan is a wonderful technology that is good for amd and nvidia and probably even intel but i can't say that for certain here are my settings just before I switched over to Vulcan. I left everything the same, except I switched to Vulcan, closed the game, and I restarted it, came back in and recorded that Vulcan clip. In fact, my last video that on this channel was completely done in Vulcan, and the clips I'm going to provide right after this, including a small clip from that video, just in case you don't want to go jumping over there, uh, are all in Vulcan. Everything beyond here is in Vulcan. So you can look for yourself and make that decision about, is it ready for prime time? My build is on a, my build is a 7800X3D, uh, 64 gigs of RAM, 4070 Ti, non-super with the correct uh, graphics drivers up to date. And that is something CIG has said multiple times now to please make sure your graphics are up to date graphics drivers now if you have an amd card you'll probably need to check out other channels or check out yourself if you have an amd card uh the 3.23 eptu i hope it comes up in your wave soon and you can give it a test to give it a check it out and you can switch back so if it doesn't work out and you're just getting terrible frame rates you can absolutely switch back i wanted to note in some of these clips that the uh the fps is not there and especially on this one, the, the flickering, I do not believe is the rendering. I believe that is due to the changes to panels and, and, and settings uh, for the 400i. This is highly experimental because it was just in this build that they did a whole bunch of changes to the 400i. And that's unfortunate for uh, this example, but I, I wanted to put all my cards on the table. I didn't want to try to sugarcoat anything. And I also, think this clip is very rewarding because right after this you're going to see some of the new quantum effects in 3.23 in vulcan this may be the first time you see this if you're not in the test server uh so it's a pretty cool experience and this is one of my many copion hunts that did not work out until i finally got one that worked from my last video it took me three days to get that done anyway um one of the other major things was master modes, which I'm not going to go into too deep here and show my biases on good or bad, but I do want to note that you may find that some of your key binds have changed due to master modes being integrated in and uh, be sure to check your key binds, especially if you have HOTAS or something else like that. I'm a keyboard and mouse uh, uh, person myself, 
but I, I, I can tell you I had some trouble with it. I'm sure you will if you have Hotas. So here's the beautiful new quantum effects. I apologize for that slight flicker. It was probably due to me all tabbing back and forth while I had the recording running. I was checking my keybinds over and over and over again, trying to get them perfect. There's a large piece cut out of that. You can note the FPS kind of really struggling. And um, yeah, now this clip itself is just plain uh, beautiful, I gotta say. And at the end of the day, there's a lot of things that need work, but take a look at that UI. Take a look at the, at, the, at, the, at the Habs over at New Babbage. You see this beautiful UI. You see this, this map app. And even on a buggy being brought in panel system for the 400i, it's still beautiful. The quantum effects are beautiful. The cityscape is beautiful. I think Vulcan is doing its job. You just need to give it a few more patches. Don't forget to submit to the issue council if you see issues and be sure to issue feedback into the appropriate forum for 3.23 feedback. If as soon as you can get in there, get in there. And I think that's what it's all about. Exploring, making the game better, finding new things. And I think Vulcan is a major step forward in the future of Star Citizen. So I know this is kind of experimental and I'm kind of just running through this. Hopefully I can get more integrated in the future with like really digging deep into this topic. Uh, but like I said, I'm not a lab. I'm not, uh, I'm not out to try to be that. Uh, I just want to show you my experience and I'm not going back. I'm sticking with Vulcan from this period onwards. And I think that's the, that's the true story of 3.23, among many other stories, is the story of us finally breaking free of the bonds of the direct 3D system and getting over into Vulcan. And that's pretty dang cool to me. Have a good night.